Hey, everybody. Hey Hi. We uh, decided to try to talk to you um, just in, not impromptu, um, just talk to you after we got the news. About the Queen. About Queen Elizabeth. The second. And um, it's, all, it's very strange for the Americans to be very sad about a monarch because we fought, we fought a major war, actually fought two wars to get rid of the monarchy in this country. But, you know, 300 years later, we certainly uh, value her uh, uh, contribution to the world stage. And uh, not just Britain, not just Europe, not just England, but all of the world has been affected by her and her family and her generosity, a very generous lady, as I understand it. So anyway, I uh, it just played my hooter and I played God Save the Queen. I couldn't make it all the way through. It's funny, actually. But uh, anyway. I asked him if he would play that again for you guys, God Save the Queen. And he said, there's no way I hardly made it through the first time because it is very emotional. And I'm very sad for everybody over in um, her home country because uh, I can't imagine the feeling of shock. Yeah. I know um, we've lost a couple of presidents yeah. in my lifetime, um, but it wasn't the same type of shock because they're already out of office and getting older. Right, because they, they only serve and they the only serve, eight years. yeah, they only serve eight years at the very most. Mm -hmm. So it's not like lifelong. Mm -hmm. Like I was born, I was a little girl born into the world, and she was queen. Yeah. And now yeah. I'm 55, and she was still queen. My mother, uh, my mother lived in a time right before she became queen. But most of my mother's life, my mother died at 82. She was the queen. She's been the queen for 70 plus years, is that right? So, uh, yeah. I uh, know, um, regardless of all the garbage and the politics and everything you hear, my heart goes out to that family. All of them. Listen to your mother's heart. And she was mother, you know, anyway. She was the queen, but she was also the mother to, uh, to her children and, and a husband and a wife to King Philip. And, so, yeah, anyway. And um, in a great way to the world. And a wonderful grandma. Yeah. Uh, I just seen some footage of Harry, um, and I can't get it out of my mind, and I can't find it again now. It's been like a year, but they were just sitting around a regular breakfast table. The queen was sitting there in like really regular clothes. Next to Harry, Harry's probably like ten years old, and he's going boo, 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 <laughs> making faces. And I, and she goes, "Oh, you like that?" And I'm like, "That just melts in my heart because you know she." The only thing that I can liken it to, and I was a little boy when this happened, but when JFK was killed and they had the motorcade, um, his son was standing next to the motorcade saluting it. And that's probably the closest of the nation that we've come to this kind of thing. But I was, that was right before I was born, but I've, I've heard and I've, um, I know that history and I've seen enough uh, film about when JFK uh, was shot and then the, uh, at the funeral, his little boy, I think he was four, they still have, that picture's iconic, it's yeah. everywhere, and isn't he saluting? Yeah. His dad's casket. That or the motor, I couldn't remember what it was. Whether it was yeah, the motorcade or his casket. That matter is his son, who was really too young to understand what was going on. And uh, man, I, I can't imagine everybody in, in especially England or Britain, and uh, and then the impact that that had when that news came out. Yeah. So. Uh, God uh, bless you. Yeah, we just wanted to tell you that. <clears throat> We're sad too, and um, we love you, and I'm praying for all of you that are hurting yeah, over this. All right, so be blessed. Don't hurt anybody. <clears throat> Start praying and praying. <clears throat>